We have the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 here, and it has been imported from China. So it's currently running the Chinese version of MIUI, which means that it has the Mi App Store instead of the Google Play Store. And today I want to show you how to get the Google Play Store and other things like Google Play services and all of those other required Google Play applications and services installed on this device even though it doesn't come with those apps pre-installed right out of the box. So what we first need to do we need to open up the App Store application the Me App Store and then we're just going to go ahead and go through a search and type out Google and do a full search for Google. Now up here to the top you're going to see a lot of different Google applications that they have uploaded to Xiaomi's Mi Store. So if you wanted to just use Chrome on this device then you can just install Chrome and be done with it. If you wanted to just install Google Photos and use it on your device, that's perfectly fine as well. But if you want the Google Play Store and access to all of those applications, you're going to want to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And you're going to see like all of these applications are a little bit bigger as they have install buttons next to it. But then at the very bottom, you're going to see a smaller option here and it's not going to have an install option there. So instead we're just going to tap on that bottom option and it should bring up this Google Play installer application. It should be about 167 kilobytes in size. It's not very big. And from here we're just going to go ahead and tap on install. We're going to let it download and install. Now obviously you're going to have to have a me account and you're going to have to have a me account connected to your device. So if you haven't done that beforehand, then you'll want to you'll have to do that before you can install any application from Xiaomi's Me Store. Once that has been installed, you can see that button has changed to open. So just go ahead and tap on open. And that's going to bring us to this new application, a bunch of Jap uh, Chinese text, and then a big button that's going to start the installation. And this is just like any other Android install. Whenever you want to sideload an application that's not available in the Play Store, or in this case, in the Me Store, you need to grant that application certain permissions. So we're just going to tap on settings. We're going to tap on allow from this source. And then we're just going to tap the back button or the back gesture to get us back to the application we are in, we were in. Now instead of that prompt propping up here, we're going to see an install button. So we're going to tap the install button here and it's going to install one of a multiple applications that are included and required for Google Play and Google Play uh, services to work. So just tap on install. We don't even have to touch anything. Whenever that done button pops up, you can see it's going to go to the next application. We're going to tap on install again. Now sometimes this sequence you'll see that it's going to get stuck and you will actually need to tap the done button. But again, sometimes it won't. It just depends on how well this this script performs 
But I would just actually prefer you to just wait at least 30 to 60 seconds before you tap done. Because there's no need to hurry and rush through this process. Tap on install again. And like I said, we're going through and installing various components to get the Google Play Store to run. But also to get to allow applications that are available in the Google Play Store to run. We're going to install Google Calendar Sync, Google Contact Sync. And I believe the last thing in this list is the Google Play Store. Now this time, once we get to the Google Play Store or whatever the last application in this list is, it may be different for you, but I'm 99% sure the Google, Google Play Store is the last one in the list. Instead of just a done button here, you're going to see a done and an open button. So naturally, we just want to, we want to tap on the open button because we want to open up the Google Play Store. Once we have installed all of the applications that are required in that script and we tap on that open button, now we can't access the Google Play Store application until we sign into our Google account. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign into my Google account on this device and then I will be right back. Once you have logged into your Google account, um, for me it took me right to this contact Google Contact Sync page. Since everything's been installed, we can just go ahead and press the home button. Or if you have the gestures installed, we can just slide up from the bottom. And then now, whenever we look in our app page, we have a Google Play Store application to where whenever we tap it, it's going to open up and it's going to allow us to install various applications from the Google Play Store. And there you have it. That is how to get the Google Play Store and Google Play Services installed on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 and the Note 7 Pro if you have imported the device from China or if your device is just currently running the Chinese version of MIUI.